What's up guys, my name is Uncage Games. welcome back to another Injustice 2 video. Today, we're going to do a breakdown of the brand new Starfire trailer that just got released at San Diego Comic Con yesterday. Now, I did my reactions to it, but a lot of things happened in the trailer, so now we got to rewatch it in slow-mo and pick on things that we didn't catch the first time watching it. And if I do miss something in the trailer breakdown, feel free to let me know in the comments. So, if you guys are excited for the Starfire breakdown, give the video a thumbs up, and let's watch this thing and see what Starfire has to offer. All right, so we got her intro Dipper here. Wrong bridges. I want none with Dick Grayson's killer. Now, if you guys don't get this reference, this is from the Injustice Gods Among Us comics, where Damien accidentally killed Nightwing. Long story short, Damien threw something, hit Nightwing, Nightwing fell and cracked his neck over a rock. It was an accident, but uh, Nightwing's dead because of that accident. It was an accident. Also, some of you guys actually told me the person that's doing the voice of Starfire is actually the person that did the voice of Starfire in Teen Titans Judas Contract, which I think is awesome. I love it when companies bring someone to do the voice of a character that they have already done, so that's pretty awesome of them to do. Let's actually go back here and see what's happening here. So we got Starfire into the jump that looks like maybe a jump three. We got her spinning mover here. That move looks freaking awesome. It looks like it's hitting low. And it's a very quick one, too. I'm slowing it down, but you guys can see how fast it's still going. I'm guessing if you can enhance that, then your opponent will be uh, popped up in the air. But right there, he just lands down. And she's doing this aerial move. Now, this move looks very familiar. Hawkgirl was uh, what that reminds me of. Hawkgirl had the mace charge. And now Starfire has, like, the flyby. And if you meter burn it, she goes around... For a second time flame charge meter burn another loop around into laser blast and this laser blast will put your opponent full screen so then you can start doing the zone something that i've uh noticed when watching starfire's gameplay we'll talk about that spin rooney in a second that she reminds me a lot of like dr fate and firestorm she can play zone but i think she can also play up close now let's go back and check out that laser light show disco spin do you see this this looks like it could be a pretty awesome anti-air even though she is flying so she's in there also and she did meter burn it so if you meter burn it you're gonna spin for a little bit longer than normal she also has a hover move and then she stops hovering meter burns into fireballs we got her grab the grabs are always good to see uppercut you one time cyborgs up in the air Look at that. Do you see the streak of fire? I love that so much. It's so cool. Next, we got Bizarro Premier Skin, which when I saw this for the first time, I was pretty excited because A, we got more Premier Skins, and B, it's Bizarro. I've talked about Bizarro being a skin for Superman since Injustice Guys Among Us. So it's finally here, and it's awesome. And if you guys notice, when you play as Superman and you do the Ice Breath meter burn, it freezes your opponent. But when you use the Bizarro skin, it burns your opponent. So, there is a little bit of change to his moves when you play uh, Bizarro. It does look like it still does the same effects. Uh, your opponent is still stunned. They can't move. They're on fire. Maybe it does a burn effect. Not sure yet. Also, when he does the laser eyes, uh, it's blue. So that's pretty cool, but Bizarro looks awesome, man. But this is the Starfire trailer, so back up, Bizarro. This ain't about you. That looks like her wake up, and it looks pretty nice. You know how her super move is a supernova? Maybe it's like a mini one, and it just, this little explosion here is just the impact on the opponent. So that's what I'm guessing. It's a mini supernova. Pops up. Kind of reminds me of Firestorm's uh, Ring of Fire. She has laser eyes. Hello. Did not even see that the first time watching. Back three. Into... Looks like a uh, heavy kick again. Jab, jab, looks a little Black Adam-ish, but she grabs your feet near the end there and then drags you to the other side. So a lot of her moves are going to make you full screen and then she can play her zoning game. And if she wants to, then she can go up and do that damage. We got her projectile. That is slowed down, but it still looks pretty fast. That is a ground pound. It kind of reminds me of the Flash's ground pound. And then she does the... Yeah, see that move right there? I'm expecting a lightning bolt coming down like Black Adam's combo string. Alright, so if you do the laser, the projectile laser beam, and you meter burn it, then it goes, it looks like high, and then it goes low. So that will be very tricky. Again, with that startup combo string, it's very fast. Meter burned it though, making your opponent pop up for additional combo. And it looks like she's going to do ground laser blast. And then 
this move right here has a very Dr. Fate orb. You guys know what I'm talking about where he can summon that orb out. And then if you meter burn it, you can stop it. That reminds me of that move right there. And it looks like she can blast the orb to make an explosion. And then the super. Now the super, I believe, if I saw it correctly, started as a low. So, yeah, she just blasts you. So if you jump, you can avoid it. Not the best in the game. I think it's still pretty cool. But I'm going to say the flash of super move is still my favorite. But it is, this is very cinematic. I love it. She takes you to space. And while you're flying to space, you should be already dead, right? You're in space. You can't breathe. She's blasting you with lasers, guys. And then if that's not good enough, say hello to the supernova. Right here. She looks you in the eye before she does it. Boom. Let's go. Look at that brightness, man. Green Lantern's light, am I right? <laughs> no? Alright. And that is it, guys. That is the Starfire trailer breakdown. She has a lot of really good moves. Good zoning, I can see. Good close up. But I think she will do the best when you're doing the zone. She seems very fun to play. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Injustice 2 Starfire trailer breakdown. If you guys did, give the video a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know if I missed anything in this Starfire gameplay trailer. Like I said before, I'm human. I do miss things. And also let me know what do you guys think of Starfire's gameplay. Are you guys excited to play as her? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. My name is Uncaged Games and you just got caged. Xbox on, Xbox on, Xbox on.